I started six, uh, professional in 56, place of 56. When we recorded Please, Please, the last of 55, and it was released in April of 56. Um, let me allow for some of the noise in the background. We are trying to uh, close up the building and, and, and get uh, out of the building. Uh, so that's kind of the reason for some of the noise. But I want everybody to know this is live backstage at the sports arena. And, uh, again, I say thanks to the brother for coming out. And back to your question, I'd like to answer by saying I recorded Please Please in 55. I released it in 56. And that, that was the beginning of my professional career. My uh, uh, career period started in 1946. Well, the reason why, because of 1949, uh, uh, broken home, uh, uh, deprived kids, you know, underprivileged, uh, low-income family, a lot of things I just didn't have. And, a lot of knowledge weren't there from them. They just didn't understand. Some of the things I'm trying to help, you know, get across to the kids today is the reason the need for education, awareness, and knowledge. Uh, it prevails more or less in the black community because we are most of the underprivileged. But it's also in the poor white community, too. They got the same problem, but uh, uh, a lot of them don't recognize it. Now, you're calling for blacks to stay in school. This has been one of your slogans. Uh, many of our national leaders recognize you for this fact. Uh, recently, or not recently, last year, Governor Maddox even called you in to kind of cool the blacks when there was a possible uh, riot situation in several of the larger cities. Uh, this in itself, uh, what kind of man you are. What would you really advise most blacks to do if you had to give some advice? Well, let's say, uh, when you, uh, I want to rectify one thing. You said that Governor Maddox called me and kind of cool the blacks. Governor Maddox called came in my radio station, WRDW in Augusta, and asked me what I could do. Uh, I told him I'd talk to the people. Uh, I'm pretty sure I could do something because I would talk to them from the streets. No such thing as cool. It's the idea of uh, sitting down discussing and uh, telling them that I understand the problem, that I identify with it because I am black, because I am a man, an American. Uh, but more or less to kind of get them to kind of see something that can be more constructive than uh, uh, burning down and uh, becoming a part of mob violence. And I think I'd rather use a, a, a kind of a rap session. That makes the kids feel more, more a part and more a part of what it, what it is, a more constructive feeling, other than saying cool. Because that's cool to sound more like a cop out. I'm not copping out, I'm just handling it where it would mean more, where it would be more constructive, the value would be greater. Well, as a result of you've been interviewed, you've been called to the White House, and you've been before many, many leaders throughout the country. Uh, do you feel that uh, whites basically have accepted you as a result? I understand that uh, in your recordings, Otis Redding said also when he was uh, with us that uh, they didn't really accept him. They accepted you because of your ability to people? Um, I don't like the word except. You're a beautiful young man, but I think you interviewing me a little wrong. How's that, sir? I don't think you would understand me. Uh, number one, I'm not trying to prove nothing to a, a white uh, that I can be a head nigger. See, that's not my back. I'm a man. I'm not trying to make the white accepting, you know. I'm just showing where, I come, where I'm coming from as a man the fact that I'm fighting for the same thing he was fighting for when the Indians were here. I'm fighting for my rights, dignity, and pride. And uh, he's fighting for, he was fighting for his rights to be a part of this country because it had a lot of natural resources. That's what I'm fighting for. I'm fighting because I, I want a part of the country because I paid taxes all this time. I'm not trying to make the white man accept me, but I would like for people to accept me, whether black or white, you know, and understand what I'm doing. But if they don't, I still got to do what I feel is right. See, I'm not a cat getting up there grinning and laughing, saying, take me in, please, you know. Right. I'm saying, don't give me nothing. Just open up the door and I'll get him a second. Right on. Listen, uh, understand one thing. I'm a man. Don't ask me another funny question, bro. Right <laughs> now would you ask me about the school thing? 
is in line, what can blacks expect out of this future, even if they go to school? Well, number one, uh, you can expect more by going than you can by not going. Because what we're fighting for, rights, equal equality. Uh, if equality, well, it's going to come again. If I don't have my rights on it, then I can't pay tax. It's just that simple. My tax is my stock in the country. Well, well, tax is your stock, and your dividends are your rights. You understand where I'm coming from? Right. See, when you buy stock, you get paid dividends on it. When you pay tax, you buy stock, and dividends. Equal opportunity. You see? Do you uh, think that it will take a great deal of time for blacks to get that power that... Uh, some of the militants call for black power, of course, but in, in, in many of your speeches... Oh, tax you power, brother. Money power. Tax power. You pay tax. You pay tax. What are we talking about? I mean, you have to work. Well, I ain't going to wait day after tomorrow for them. If I pay tax today, my rent start today. Okay, you, uh, you go uh, when you say black and proud. Is it really that important that you, a black be black and proud uh, in your after one of your concerts tonight. Well, it's nice to be black and brown because long time color. And that don't identify with nothing. What country is Negro? Is that a country? No, I know. Is this color the country? No. Is Afro-American? That's, that that's an identity because Africa is a country, right? right. And that's when you black, right? That's an African. Right. Okay. Okay, speaking of Africa now, you, uh, last year you tried to uh, what? How does the how does the African? Uh, an article I read on you. Uh, American blacks. Do you, uh, you tell me? Well, you know where I'm coming from. Uh, the first thing they did when I got to, they made me a free man. What is a free man in Lagos? They made me a free man. What what uh, you were a free man when you left the country? I mean, what what is Are that? Are you free? No 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 no. What what I'm getting at is uh, what what does it require to make a free man? What what does it require to make a free man in Lagos? To uh. Get away. Never can. I've never given any thought. No, I don't think so. I'm going to see you, brother. <laughs> I got to go. Right on. Thanks a lot. Anyway. We got to talk, okay? okay. We're not going to have another talk. Okay. We're not going to have another talk. Okay. 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 You never had him as long as he's a man? You never had him as long as he's a man? What are we talking about? Of a school,